Hello everybody, it's Barbara, and today, as you can see, we are looking at Poppy Parker in Palm Springs, but it's not just any Poppy Parker. It's the one who's resort ready. This is this is the long-awaited club doll, the resort ready Poppy Parker. As always, we're going to talk about the doll extensively, but I just want to take a quick shout out once again to David Boutry and Alan Tremblay for the really cool well done packaging this is vintage palm springs written all over it this very nice pattern here and of course as always you do also have that lovely ribbon design where you'll have the gold or the silver and it'll either be polka dots or stitching and then the solid color of the box and that's going to be a green green is the base for the box but it's not really the base for the ensemble itself so let's just go ahead then and start to talk about this lovely lady herself miss poppy parker i'm not using the poppy parker stand i had a stand out already so i'm going just to keep using that the dress is um a mini dress done in crepe, light blue, sky blue crepe, fully lined, but we'll say more about that. There's great beading detailing, and that's why I wanted to make the point that green is not a color that you're going to see repeated in this ensemble. You see it in the cuffs, and you see it in the detailing around the color. This is really a blue and pink ensemble, heavy, heavy, heavy on the blue. The pink you really only see in the beading. You don't even see it repeated in the jewelry. You have a simple, well, relatively simple uh, bangle with a blue stone. And then the ring is the same blue stone. Her nails, which I know I'm, I have to get to the face, guys. I know. But the nails are also gold. I just wanted to point that out, that there's a nice mix of colors here. And then if you will turn... Again, you just have that slightest hint of pink in her earrings, which is really kind of hard to tell in this light. But the the what you would what looks in this video to be a gold ball with the blue dangle, it's really got like a like a rose gold overtone to it. So I thought that was kind of cool. Let's talk about her face. This is of course the traditional poppy sculpt. Um, a matte brick red lip brown eyes black eyeshadow gold only on the lower lid the upper lid is pretty much taken over by the eyebrow just a hint of blush the same as the as the lip her lashes are real they are applied and this seems to be the theme of this round of reviews that I'm doing. The lashes are also very long, though traditionally with Poppy Parker, they do tend to be longer. It was a surprise to see them that long with the fashion royalty. Let's talk about the show-stopping number here, which is her hair. It's got a little bit of product in it to hold the, the parts of the ponytail, but I think that's easily washed out. This appears to be fully rooted. And when I said to hold the parts of the ponytail, let me turn this again frontwards. You can see that it's got like the half ponytail going at the front. Or you will see that in a second. You've got the half ponytail going at the front. They did something very interesting. Like they have the half ponytail and then you have sort of like the pickup bow font. You have another ponytail here and then you have the rest of the hair. So it's like two ponytails on top of each other. It's very nicely done. That's why it makes me think that this is really a fully rooted, heavily rooted doll. Um, just very quickly, just to check, her panties will match the dress. This pair of shoes, which are for the heeled feet, hold that thought, are blue and gold. Gold all the way through. It's a very cute little ensemble. It's the only ensemble she comes with. She doesn't change out of ensembles. She does, however, change legs. I've never done it. 
I'm not going to attempt it, but here are the flat feet and the leg. And with that comes the other thing I'm not attempting because it is all lace up these lovely little gold sandals, all gold, all the way through. Although I take that back, the, uh, the sole is more tan than gold, but this is definitely for the flat foot. And Homie isn't even going to attempt to lace it up. Somebody else can go be brave. That's why we have Suresh and Y and other brave souls who will do that. And here's Poppy with another set of flat hands. They're not even dialing hands, which she would actually need because she was alive in the time of dialing phones. Same color nails. She does come with these really cute gold sunglasses, which are of course not going to stay on her because God forbid. But trust me. These are cute. And they're they're kind of they have a little bit of a tint to the lens. They're very cute though. She also has this incredibly minuscule, I have literally no idea why they bothered to put a zipper on it, because there is zero chance of getting anything in here, but it's a purse. It's a cute purse. The interesting draw of this piece was, and why it's resort ready is, you know, you have a hotel room, so of course you have to have the gratuitous bucket of ice, which you of course fill up and then forget about. Uh, it does come with the uh, tongs to get said ice out of said bucket. It comes with a lovely little drink with a metal straw and a lemon. All of this is glued on together. If this was Riemann, the straw and the lemon would have just popped off the glass. This is all glued together. The name of this beverage is Tutti Frutti, and the pattern of the Tutti Frutti label is going to match, of course, uh, the packaging and the barware. I would not be surprised if an early version of Tutti Frutti uh, shows up in an East 59th Street campaign, just to have that synergy. This is the bucket. The lid comes off. And as you can see, there are very large and movable ice cubes. Now, what I like about this is, if you've ever watched any spy movie ever in the history of the world, uh, you know there's always going to be the scene where diamonds are involved, because diamonds are forever. And these ice cubes really, they're faceted, F-A-C-E-T, possibly a second T, I don't spell, F-A-C-E-T-E-D, they're faceted, so these little ice cubes can also double as diamonds in a diamond caper. So there you go. I'm going to take it back to Poppy being a spy. That's it. Uh, and, that's, and that's the ice. And so this takes the playability, once again, of this set off the charts. Now, here's the thing. This is a gorgeous poppy. We know it is a gorgeous poppy. The problem is, this is a club doll, which means you're going to be play, paying, blah, blah. you will pay a premium for her. Um, and I sincerely hope that you can find her at a reasonable price, uh, because she is definitely worth getting, and I hope you will. She is gorgeous. I highly recommend her. She came out... A while ago so you might now be seeing the final cooling down of the prices so you might get a chance uh, to see her at a better price or you might have to you know hold out and perhaps piece it out get the dress get her separately she really is quite lovely and she is a lot of fun and I would totally get her this is this is one of the few pieces from the Palm Springs line I really liked and I am really glad I got her so for me, Poppy, I'm Barbara, and I will see you in my next set of reviews, which are going to be Fashion Royalty and New Face together, Anique and Elise together, 
and we are going to talk about them and hopefully and what and what this could mean coming forward for fashion royalty okay everybody take care bye bye